Everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to the Worldwide Community Talk Show called Let's Talk About It. I'm your host, Sheree, and today I have a special guest who is an R&B soul singer, songwriter, Calvin Richardson. Welcome, Calvin. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. <laughs> how are you? I'm pretty good. Well, first, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to come onto my show and talk about some of the things that you got upcoming and what you've been doing. Pleasure. <laughs> okay, so let's jump right into this. So you're originally from Charlotte, correct? Yeah, I'm originally from Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, okay. And do you have any siblings? Well, I see you. You are the fifth of nine children. I have nine sisters and brothers as well. So <laughs> pretty big family, that's, you know. Yeah, that's a pretty big family, you know. But that's that's a good number, you know. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? To keep the love spread around. Right. It was cool, you know what I mean? I was the middle, the middle child out of nine. So, you know, I had, you know, had something to look up to and look down on. You know what right. I mean? Right. <laughs> Did you get beat up on? Did you get beat up on like me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, know, um, I can hold my own. <laughs> well, you know how that sibling rivalry thing go. Okay. Do you, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and do you have any children? Yeah, actually, I do. I have um, three kids. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And I think the ladies would like to know this as well as <clears throat> myself. But uh, yeah, um, are you married? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not married at all. Okay. okay. So take us into your first big break, and how was that like for you? And who did you sign with? Well, my first big break, um. That's when I first signed my record deal, I think, um, probably back in in the early 90s, actually, to be honest about it. I, um, I was in a group um, called Undercover. Okay. You know, me and me, for us, that was big. You know, um, but my friends, Casey and JoJo, like, we grew up singing together. We were actually in a group together before they um, went on to do Jodeci. Um, right. We got the group, actually. And um, so, you know, just coming up, you know, after that, it was following right behind you know, that success that they was having with Joe to see. So, you know, it was, I had a lot to look forward to. Right. Wow. Okay, okay. And I see you was given this uh, title called The Soul Prince. So, <laughs> how did that make you feel? Well, I mean, it really, it was like a badge of honor for me because, you know, soul music is really, that's my thing. And, you know, I never did anything differently from that. I always did my music the same way, you know, and kind of try to stay consistent with it. I never really changed it. And so, um, you know, when somebody, uh, whoever came with that title, and I really don't, I, you know, <laughs> don't know where it came from, but, you know, it was like, okay, cool, somebody got it right. You right. Know? <laughs> at, at the end of the day, they recognized me for who I really am, right. who I represent, you know? Right, right, definitely. Okay, so who, um, who are some of the people that you work with and that you've written songs for? Uh, yeah, Chico the Barge, okay. Rafael Sadiq, uh, Andy Stone, okay. uh, uh, Glenn Jones, wrote some stuff for him, um, and, um, probably the, the biggest record, um, success record I think I had was a few years ago, well, I wrote, There Goes My Baby. Right. My baby paper, um, Wilson. Yeah. Right. Wow, wow. And how was it like working with those artists? I mean, it's always, you know, it's good for me. It's fun. Um, it's a lot, when I was working with Babyface, especially, like, I learned a lot, you okay. know, um, working with Babyface, and not just um, on the creative side, but, you know, just, um, you know, all the experience that he had, like, Babyface probably had over 200, um, you know, uh, top 10 records. Right, um, right. So just um, the process, his process, and, you know, incorporating that into what I do, but, you know, but all the artists, you know, I had a lot of respect for them, you know, such as Andy Stone, uh, Raphael Sadiq, uh, Chico the Barge, and, you know, just be collaborating them cre with them creatively was, you know, really cool for me. Right, right. Wow, wow. And so you currently have your um, 
fifth album that's out that was a Grammy nominated, correct? Which was the Facts of Life. Correct. That's the soul of Bobby Womack. Tell me about that. Yeah, well, the soul of Bobby Womack um, was actually, you know, I did 12, 12 of Bobby Womack's greatest hits to read down them and wow. um, pay homage to Bobby Womack. Because I feel like, you know, it's, it's big. It's like a, we all want to say Bobby Womack. Everybody, I feel like everybody knows Bobby Womack, but I think there's still a lot of people that's just not as familiar with his music as they should be. Right. And so um, me being from a much younger generation, um, to redo some of his music, I think it um, introduced um, a little bit younger generation to, you know, his master pieces of work, you know? Mm, right, right. Yeah. And so, you know, when I did, you know, I was kind of reluctant in the beginning when I when I was asked to do that um, because, you know, Bobby Womack, like me growing up on it, knowing um, how it had, he's, it's the role that it's played in my life, like growing up listening to that music and, like, it kind of, um, I developed my style somewhat off of the things that I listened to most, and that was some of the stuff that I listened to the most. I was a little reluctant because knowing that, you know, it's such a great body of work, and, you know, sometimes, you know, it's better not, see, if you can't add nothing to a record, it's better not to touch it. It's okay. Like doing it. Right. But, you know, at the end of the day, I came to the conclusion that, you know, I'm paying homage and introducing the work to other people, so, you know, it was worth the risk of um, my reputation if I got it wrong, you know what I mean? Right, <laughs> you're so silly. Right, right, yeah. right. Wow, well, yeah, it's always good when you can get something out of something that you're working on, you know, some type of, you know, enhancement or knowledge, whatever. It's always a good thing. Wow. So tell us, are you working on your sixth album? Are you working on the sixth album? I am working on, on my sixth album. It's titled Enough Said. Okay. The Bobby Womack album was actually, uh, what was that? It was the fourth album, huh? Yeah, that was on. And so, and then America's Most Wanted was my fifth album, and so Enough Said would be my sixth. Right, and right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, you're definitely working over there. Okay, so tell us about some of the upcoming projects projects that you have going on or any tour dates where people can, you know, look you up and search or buy any of your albums. Oh, yeah. Um, I am CalvinRichardson.com is my website. Well, basically, you know, they can follow me and well, they can go there and check my dates and see where I'm going to be in different places as far as performing. And, uh, you know, they'll be able to Hopefully, turn the television on soon and and come in to changes. Okay. Uh, and see me playing a role on there. Okay. Uh, which is you know I'm really looking forward to that. You know, getting into the acting thing. And, okay. Uh, you know, but, but basically, you know, right now, you know, I'm just I'm I'm just staying busy, just you know, doing stuff like that and um, <laughs> recording and trying to keep up with the demand of you know the p performances and stuff like that that's out in front of me. Right. You know, I'm on Twitter, um, twitter.com, at the Prince of Soul. Okay. They can check me out there. Can hit, yeah, you can hit me up on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, in fact. And um, I'm on, you know, facebook.com. Okay. Uh, the Street Preacher. Or facebook.com, um, Calvin Richardson Official Fan Club. Um, fan page, I should say. I'm sorry. But yeah. And uh, pretty much that's just, it's pretty easy to keep up with me. Right. You know, it's hard for me to keep up with everything that I got going on, <laughs> but people want to keep up with me, you know. Right. They do it pretty relatively easy. Right, right, right. So what encouragement would you give to some other um, uh, young males that's looking to become an entertainer, such as a singer or songwriter? Well, you know, for everybody out there that, you know, that's aspiring to be a singer, songwriter, producer, whatever your skill set may be. Uh, you know, you should always or never be afraid to dream, but always, always, you know, find that something um, that'll keep you going to, you know, keep you keep you on your path to achieving your dreams, your goals. Because anything that you can that you want to do, it can be accomplished. Really, it's all up to the individual. You know, um, like I know. A lot of people base how far they get in life on other people or other elements, and that's all true. Mm -hmm. But I think what it all comes down to is the one person that, you know, really determines, you know, how far you go in life. Uh, 
by how, how close you get to achieving your goals. And that's, right. that's you. Never take no for an answer. Always use that for motivation to get done what you're really trying to do. And always, always, always be the best, the very best at what you're trying to do. You know, always, you know, um, be well prepared and, um, you know, just stay focused. It'll happen. Right. Amen. Amen. So true. And so, um, with this follow up election, how do you feel about Obama winning second term? <laughs> well, I look at it like, you know, we all won in a sense. You know what I mean? That's how I look at it. Obama won, like he represents um, you know, what what most of us, you know, stand for. You know, a lot of us a lot of people got distracted along the way or whatever, like, you know, like miracles do happen, but, you know, some things, you know, it take one day at a time, and sometimes it take years and years to make changes, but, you know, you can't overlook the changes that was made during the years, you know what I mean? Right. Even up to that. Um, right. So, I think it's a great thing. I'm excited about it. You know, we got four more years, you know, <laughs> going in the right direction, you know, and hopefully, you know, since he can't do another term after that, you know, somebody will come along that's as good as he is, or, you know, that stand for what he stand for, and just keep it going right definitely keeping everybody in prayers also with this storm too because right. i think new york is headed they're getting another uh storm as well as snow at the same time it's crazy oh, wow. right right yeah. and you're currently signed to who currently i have my own independent label okay cool what's the name of the label new mo records n-u-m-o yeah okay congratulations I'm doing independently my last three albums in fact um my last yeah my last three and this to be the fourth one um was independently put out okay and that's based on where well i'm, I'm in um louisiana now so okay I'm out of, yeah so uh you know i bit we started it in, in um in charlotte okay like i said and i moved i came out here uh, a couple of years ago and i kind of set up shop and, um that's where we are. Wow, wow. So, Calvin, do you think we can get a little sample of that song, There Goes My Baby? Sure, sure. Absolutely. I guess, I guess we could do that. That's no big deal. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. My ears are wide open. <laughs> Let me clear my throat. <laughs> Let you clear your yeah. throat. <laughs> Let me clear my throat. Here we go. Okay. I was rolling in my car when I pulled up at the mall, couldn't find a place to park. I threw my keys to valet. Mm -hmm. I was only out of hang, wasn't looking for a thing. I was just about to die. And then I saw this lady. And I said to myself, Little Lola, Little Lola. Baby. How about that? Oh, see, why you had to stop? See, you know what? You ain't even right. You know, we, we, we call you a tease. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. Boy, yeah. You do have the soul prints in you. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I like... Try not to blow your ears out on the phone, you know? Oh, it's fine. You held, you held your own. You held your own. <laughs> But I truly, truly, truly enjoyed you today, and I am encouraged by you, and I want you to keep doing what you're doing and what you love. I love to see people do what they love, no matter on what level, you know, that they're on. I love to see people, you know, doing what they want to do, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> and i like to thank you for coming on to my show once again. And you. Um, you can give them your website again one more time for the viewers, the listeners. Okay. It's IamCalvinRichardson.com. All right. You heard it, you guys. Go there. Check it out. Purchase the album. Look them up. Show them love. They can do what it do. <laughs> and remember right. to let's, let's talk about it. it. I'm sorry, Calvin. I said let's get it. Let's get it. That's right. Let's get it. And look for him in changes. Good night, everybody. <laughs>